Jono, a miserable afternoon in Warrington, on and off the pitch. Just your immediate reaction, please. Yeah, I'm really disappointed. Uh, one because, you know, um, I feel a little bit sorry for the for the boys. I feel um, very sorry for the fans who've travelled all the way there here in the numbers. I think um, you know we were played against 14 men on the pitch. I think the referee and the linesman didn't give us any decisions throughout the whole game. I think um, first 20 minutes. It was tight, we were always going to expect it to be really tight. Difficult pitch, obviously raining and really windy. Uh, but we're in the game, then he's give, you know, soft, soft uh, pen and uh, sent Quartz off uh, for two yellows. I think um, his first yellow card wasn't even a yellow card. The guy screamed, uh, their bench shouted and he just pulled his yellow card out straight away. Then obviously sent him off. And then every single decision really throughout the game, you know, um, fouls on us, um, we weren't getting, and then if we did get get them, we weren't getting it, uh, any cautions against our players. And any time we touched our players, he was getting yellow cards out, and uh, you know, he was giving them nearly all the decisions. And um, you know, it's always difficult when you go down to, to ten men, um, which I didn't think he had to do um, because I don't. I think uh, even Colt said he got a little bit of the ball. Um, but it is what it is, and uh, we we tried to galvanise the boys at half time. Obviously, being down down a man, um, tried to change shape a little bit, um, and then you know we we're doing okay for five ten minutes, and then you know we obviously had in mind Tuesday night's game as well, two 0 down. We needed to get a few players off um, with Willand being suspended and Louis. You know, uh, still having his calf injury, we need to get a couple of players off who are a bit tight, change shape again, and then obviously they scored another two goals. Um, but we had most of the ball because we were down to ten men, and we just couldn't get going really second half. Even though the boys give it give it their all like they always do, you know, I think we changed shape two or three times second half to try and deal with it, um, but we couldn't get going with, with the ball. It's always difficult when you one, one man down. But uh, what I would say about the boys is, listen, we've been killed with a decision that's affected us but the boys still give the all, um, which they always do and now we've just got to put it to bed you know it's fish and chip paper it's done and dusted with we've got to galvanize the troops um just told them in there we need to really look after ourselves over the next two games because we've got loads of games coming up and um, it's obviously a massive game against forest green on on tuesday night just hopefully we can have a set of officials who will ref the game properly and um, we can, um, you know, uh, have 11 v 11 on the pitch for the whole 90 minutes. Similar story to Hereford, isn't it, really? Well, we're nearly halfway into the campaign now, and uh, we still can't seem to find that consistency away from home that we do have at home. Um, what do you think it comes down to? Uh, well, today I think it's just come down to, you know, obviously getting the man sent off. I think, um, you know, if it, if it was 11 v 11, I think uh, we'd have got back into the game. Uh, I'm, I'm sure of that. Um, especially with the subs we had on the bench, we didn't want to start Frank today because um, we didn't want to risk him because he's our only striker because Aidan can't play on Tuesday. So if we started him and he got injured, then we wouldn't have had a striker on Tuesday. So uh, we made a decision to put him on the bench um, to come on for the last 20 30 minutes if we needed, uh, or not to come on if we didn't need him. Um, but obviously, with getting a man sent off and the lads putting the right shift in, we had to take some tired legs off the pitch. You know, Purvis has been ill this week. Um, you know, we wanted to rest him for Tuesday as well, and Finn as well needed to rest him for Tuesday. So we got a few minutes into players who needed minutes, and we rested a couple. But there's still some real tired legs out there because you know they've grafted for ten men for you know a good seventy minutes nearly. So um, it's been a difficult day. Um, you know, it's it was a difficult pitch. You know, you know, wet, loads of rain, loads of wind. Um, but I, I, I honestly think if it was 11 v 11 for the full 90 minutes, it, it, it would have been 4 0. You touched on it there, another big Tuesday night game, expected to be a sellout crowd. Um, well, how are you going to get the boys to bounce back? You've done it before when we lost to Tamworth. Well, listen, the fans today were absolutely amazing. You know, they've come all this way, you know, spent all the money to come here, and the referee kills the game with the map getting, getting, getting one of our players sent off. And, um, you know, the game's done and buried, but they sang their hearts out throughout the. The whole second half and tried to get the boys going so you know we know we're going to have that unbelievable support on Tuesday hopefully it'll be a sellout and get right behind the boys um, we'll probably need it because we know we've got some tired legs in there we haven't got the biggest squad in the world um, hopefully well Will will be back from suspension which is a bonus um, I don't think Qualtz's red card will kick in until next week 
uh, and Louis touch and go at the moment but um, fingers crossed you know we can really rest up over the next couple of games and we can give it our best shot and give them a uh, give the fans something to shout about because you know if we're still in the game with 20 minutes to go and there's going to be some atmosphere at the Flaming Land Stadium so I just say to all the fans come and support the boys I think they deserve it you know the 110% honest group of lads uh, give them all for the club so come and support them get right behind them and let's give it a good, real good go. Thank you for your time. No worries.